boys and girls, here I am again, Catherine. Um, my appointment didn't work out. <laughs> I spoke yesterday about how I had a psychiatrist appointment today, but it didn't work out again. So, I'm on my second beer, so I've had a little time to calm down. But, um, I guess I just feel the need to follow up yesterday's video clip. I've got to keep it short because I don't have that much memory on my phone. But, um, I went to see the psychiatrist today. And it was my second time seeing this male psychiatrist that I saw back in May. Because I've been trying to switch away from my psychiatric nurse practitioner who I don't think she I think she wants to work with people who are more mildly ill than I am but she's a nice person so anyway I went there today and I went into his office and I said I'm concerned that maybe my lamictal needs to be released or needs to be increased. Lamictal is a mood stabilizer. I was like, I feel like maybe it needs to be increased. And when I was talking about that with my other prescriber, I felt like she kind of minimized things and, you know, didn't really want to increase it. And it's not that I want to be on a lot of meds, but I would like my mood to be more stable. I would like to feel like when I'm out in the community, I'm not going to have a public outburst. So anyway, I wanted, you know, things evaluated by a real psychiatrist. So I was with this man today. And I mean, the first time I saw him, he was like, I think you should see a female psychiatrist. So I said, okay. And I had that appointment with her scheduled last week. But then when I tried to go last week, she said... Well, they said that she was uh, at home recovering from surgery and not in the office. And um, so they scheduled me to see the male psychiatrist again. And they assured me that I could get meds refilled, um, you know. So, basically, when I met with him today, he was like, he still wanted me to see a female psychiatrist, and he refused to refill my meds. And I really feel like he's in violation of the American Psychiatric Association rules or something. I've already left a voicemail for the supervisor of the clinics, you know, expressing my concern like I just feel like um even if he is refusing to keep me as a patient he should still refill the meds one time until I can get hooked up with another psychiatrist and he refused to do it. I mean, I used to work in the mental health field. I know how things work. And I really think he was acting in, a, in an illegal, illegal manner. Like, okay, you want to switch someone to someone else, blah, blah, blah. You don't feel it's a fit, but you at least fill the meds one time to... Um, cover the gap, cover their, whatever the waiting period is, and, um, I just, I take issue with that, and I did ask for my copay money to be refunded, because I was told he would refill the meds, and he didn't, and they did refund the copay, so that's good, but, um, it's crazy, it's just ridiculous, um, so... Of course, being the conspiracy theorist that I am, I feel like my met my enemies tried to manipulate the situation and basically tried to make the male psychiatrist feel like he wasn't allowed to take me on. Like, I think the whole purpose was 
he kept saying that I could get the meds from my previous prescriber or primary care, and I'm not going back to the previous prescriber. Like, she's a nice person, but she's a nurse practitioner, and I think she minimizes my issues, and I really think I need an actual psychiatrist. So, you know, and I think my enemies have gotten a hold of her. I think that they um, have manipulated her and whatever. Like, it's, I'm just not going back. So, I did speak with someone at my primary care doctor's office about giving me a 90-day refill of the meds so that I can transition over to a psychiatrist. And, um, you know, even the fucking, like, receptionist or whatever that answered the phone, she was like, you know, I went through the whole thing with her, and she was like, all right, well, I'll send this over to the nurse and see if she'll fill it. And it's like, no, she's gonna fill it. (laughs) She's gonna fill it because it's just proper medical protocol, And so far, I haven't gotten a text message or any kind of message from the pharmacy or the primary care doctor's office saying that they filled it. But I really just feel like I'll take the meds that I have, and when they run out, oh well. I mean, I don't want to be sick over it, but I've had it. I've just fucking had it. I'm going to do what I can to get hooked up with another psychiatrist, but maybe there's going to be a period where I'm not on meds, and maybe I'm just going to be a fucking psycho. Maybe I'll end up in a psych hospital, and if I do end up in a psych hospital, which is going to be costly, I'm going to mention a bunch of names of my enemies, like, over and over again. Like, I picture the people at the psych hospital being like, You don't need to say their names, but I'm just going to say their names over and over again. The female impersonators, the male perpetrators, like, I'm just going to, I'm going to say so many things in a psych hospital that my enemies are going to be so fucking sorry that they let it get that far. Like, that's how it's going to go. Um... I really feel like I'm in a war, and I've been in a war for years, and my enemies just want to control every aspect of my life, and I am going to do whatever I can to fuck that up. You know? I'm just going to do whatever I can to fuck it up. If they want to drive me into a mental hospital, they're going to be so sorry about what I've said in the mental hospital and as far as names and dates and this and that, that they're going to be like, shit, we should have just let the primary care doctor fill her meds. We should have just let her see that male psychiatrist. Like, I'm going to fuck them up one way or another. So anyway, I'm going to stop because this video is going to run out, but... I'll probably start another one in a couple of minutes. Thanks for listening.